Hi, I'm Langdon Dearborn. I play keyboards for Rose Avenue. There was a band before Rose Avenue called The Sleeves. Aram and Iman played in that band and I went and saw a show. I talked to them afterwards and I had music theory with Will and Iman so eventually we just decided to jam one day and it turned out alright. I'm Iman and I play rhythm guitar. Bill, I was friends with when we were like really little and then we just like didn't talk for like four years and then turns out he played bass so <laughs> I just texted him. I'm Will. I play guitar. Langdon, who's a transfer student here this year, asked us if we want to help him arrange one of his songs. So we got together and did that, and it went really well. That kind of became just the way it would go. Like, he would bring in a song, or I'd bring in a song, and the band just kind of formed out of that. I've had my eye on you since I saw you alone. I haven't experienced anything like it before. There's a certain dynamic to the band that feels like everyone wants to be there and everyone's really dedicated to it. It's really great for me because I'm just surrounded by these really talented musicians. It's just constantly pushing me to be better. I've played in bands in the past where everyone kind of dances around criticism and we don't really tell each other what to change and it ends up sounding all right. But in this band, it's different because we're actually close and we can actually tell each other what's wrong. Six, seven, eight. My name is Aram and I play the drums. Aram is probably the most improved musician. When we were playing, he, I mean, he was good when we started, but he's just he's just put in hours and hours and hours into honing his craft of the drums. And he'll just like keep working. If there's a song he can't play, he'll just be practicing for like three hours until he can get it. Aram just lays it down. He's got our backs, he keeps the tempo straight. He's the foundation of the band. Iman is the nicest person I've ever met. He has not been playing guitar for that long. He's probably played two, three years, but he has a ridiculous work ethic. Anything that he might think he can't do, he totally makes up for in his just absolute willingness to do anything for the band. He's probably the best guitar player I've played with. He's really consistent. If you give him a part to play, he'll play it note for note. Bill is like the weirdest guy I've ever met. Bill is the absolute funkiest guy I know. He shows up to every show in the craziest outfit, whether it be a pinstripe suit or like a pimp coat. Technically, Bill is one of the best bass players I've ever played with. He just sounds great. He's very, very talented and motivated. He's so good at bass. It's insane. Langdon, his musical knowledge is unparalleled. He just, he's so driven by music. It was really freeing for me to find somebody who's just as driven as I am because I've played with people in the past who are really talented, they love music, but music's clearly not their top priority. And with Langdon, it's completely different. He is extremely motivated and it's really great to work with someone like that because being around that kind of motivation really brings up the energy of the group. Will is like one of the best guitar players I've ever met. I've definitely improved a lot just by, you know, being around him. The first time I heard Will play, I just couldn't really understand that this was just a high school kid who, who was playing guitar because he was just so good. It didn't, it didn't make sense to me. Will's just really, really driven. And I don't think without him that we would be able to do as much as we do. I've kind of learned to just let other people take the lead, which is really cool, and I think it's a really good skill to have because sometimes stuff is just like out of your hand. I've definitely had to change a lot of my expectations for myself because if I had just stayed on the track that I was going on, I wouldn't have been able to get good enough fast enough to be able to play with these guys, but they really made such an impression on me that I caught up fast and now I'm able to play with them. I've learned that I'm not as good of a musician as I thought I was. Also, that playing music with other people is so much better than just being in control I like having the dynamic of other people bringing in ideas that I might not necessarily agree with in the beginning. I think it's really healthy for all of us as musicians to deal with that. In terms of my writing, everything I'd write I'd have to arrange completely by myself, but now with the band it's much more freeing because I can bring in a chord progression or just one melody and say, hey, Langdon, what, what could you do with this? And then he'll give me a keys part and then I'll show it to Bill and he'll improv something and then Langdon will write some melody on top of it. And it's just, it's really collaborative and I think giving up a little bit of power can have a really big impact on the music. Well, I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? It 
goes like this the Baffled King composing highly 